Hey people, this is Wii187, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XII International. In the last part, we got back to Ravenaster after a huge uh, set of events where Vossler died, and basically the whole Arcadian fleet blew up and all that, and Judge Geese died. And now we're back, and now we're, we want to go to the land of Jahara. And Jahara is actually, if I pull up my map, I'll show you. Ah. That's, uh, we want to go down to Giza Plains, and then we're going to go down this way into the land of the unknown. But we're not doing that just yet, because we have some stuff we want to take care of first. And by this, I mean kind of side questy stuff. And um, don't worry about the side quests in this game. At least in my opinion, I actually think they're fun. And the first one we want to do is talk to this girl over here. Her name is... I don't even know how you pronounce her name. I don't know. Kateen or something. Um, and she's like, It is good to see you again. I have had so little opportunity to speak with Humes. Humes are human. And, my people keep to themselves. The number of visitors to our village could be counted on a single hand. Wow. So did I long to come to a great city such as Rabinaster. That wish has now come true, but this is not how I had hoped it would be. I knew my choice would bring hardship, yet you should have thought it through. Actually, you do want to say you should have thought it through, because then it continues on with this really, really long side quest that's kind of gradual. Um, we'll come back to her later. Perhaps I should have. Strength of will alone could not make up for my ignorance of the wild, of the wider world. I do not wish to admit it, but I know it now to be true. Feel not sorrowful. It's no, it is no easy thing to speak unwelcome truths to another, yet these are the most valuable truths to hear. You bet. Uh, actually, I do believe that. Like, that line is a, a line that's always kind of stuck with me. The truths that you don't want to hear are actually the truths that you need to hear. Um... And depending on who says it to you, they can be more valuable or not. Anyway, what we want to do, I'm going to speed up, and we're going to go across this bridge. We want to head to the Gambit Shop. I got a lot of money before I re-began this LP, and this is for this purpose only. It's to buy Gambits. Because we didn't buy them, like, when I usually buy them, I buy them right after the Barheim Passage, which is which would have been, like, around episode 20 or so. Uh, but I didn't, and I never did. So, see, these, like... This is like the gambit condition, so like, say, if foe any, I'll attack it and all that. And you have to buy them. In the international version, you can buy them all, like, right after you get out of the Barheim Passage. In the normal version, you have to do it gradually. But what I'm going to do, since I can buy them all, I am going to buy them all. So, I mean, there's a lot to buy. This is going to take me a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy them all, and then I'll cut right when I'm done, and then we'll continue, okay? So, yeah. All right, awesome. Bye. 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 Buy more, buy, buy more, buy more, buy more. I'm running out of gill ever so slowly. This is strange. I am speaking to myself and I have tick. X and I forgot to mention it there for I am stupid. Okay, I think we're done now. Um, yeah, I bought them all, so now if we leave and we go to our gambits. We have every condition possible. Foe flying, if you want to do that, you know, we can ally status, bravery, haste, and yeah, this will come in very useful. I blew my gill. I only have 1,260 left, but I don't care. It's okay, so now let's continue. I am going, no, I'm not going to meet you because I haven't shown you the city yet, Rabinaster. I'm just kind of be like exploring it, moving my chair here. Um, I'm kind of squished because I just got home. Oh, let's not go this way. I should probably go in normal flow mode. This is like flow mode, because everything's flowy. You know, it's like normal, you know? And this is like glitchy mode. Not really, but... Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of hyper. This has been a pretty crazy weekend. I went with my friend uh, Megan to her lake house in Michigan City, Indiana. And uh, we spent the weekend there with a bunch of friends. And it was, it was fun. Although, um... Wait, where do I want to go? I want to go to Southgate. Um, and... Uh, I'll tell you why we want to go to Southgate, and that's because there is a teleport crystal here that I want to use to teleport to Bujerba, which is a, an entire another city. But anyway, um, back on my story. Uh, it, it was fun. We went swimming and all that, although it was kind of awkward because I was, like, one of the only guys there, and, 
Yeah, I mean, it wasn't awkward in a bad way. It's just kind of like, I mean, they're playing Kesha and I'm trying to watch NCS, and it, it doesn't work out that way. But yeah, but I did, I did get to see um, Chugga's new Luigi's Mansion episode, and usually, like, I'm really bad at keeping up to date with Chugga's videos, and the fact that I made time to watch it kind of makes me happy. Um, because maybe I, I might, this might be like the first LP since Pokemon Crystal that I'll be able to like, uh, keep up with from him. Uh, anyway, we want to go over here. To this area down here, known as, I think it's called the Koo Skybrowns. If I know that area, then that, if I know the name of the area and I'm right, then that's sad. And it is the Koo Skybrowns, it says it in the corner. Um, what we want to do is we want to talk to this Moogle over here. Uh, we have a job from him. You have spoken with Mont Blanc, Koopa? That's our boss, by the way, in our... Uh, guild. I'll talk more about our guild later. You will accept my request? We'll hunt down the rock toys, Kubo? Yes, we will. Oh, thank you, Kubo. I, I always know a pace to have friends. I'm Pilika. I, mean, I always thought it was Pilky. I don't know why. Me and, Mont, me and Mont Blanc have been friends for a long time. That's why I went to him. You see, it's kind of embarrassing, but I had this rock toys that I was keeping. That's a pet, Kubo! But he ran away! I had given up on finding him. Then I started hearing rumors about a giant titan toys wreaking havoc in the mines, Kubo. And then I realized, it's him! It's my pet! I just know it. My little toy slipped into the mines, and, and he absorbed magicite energy, and he got all big and violent, Koopo. I'd go get him back myself, but the mines are awfully big. I'd get lost, Koopo. I'd get a friend to help, but I'm so embarrassed. That's why I wrote Mont Blanc. And here you are, my and my little rock toys. Well, he's not little, but he's in sight, too, of the Lusu mines. Go get him. And that's what we're going to do. We have to go and kill this thing. This is a hunt. Hunts are the main form of side quests in this game, uh, but... And basically, what they do is they often open up the way to other side quests as well. Uh, but what we want to do, I'm going to speed it up because we have to fit stuff in 15 minutes and 30 seconds. But we want to go down here. Well, yeah. This city is pretty much, um, it's kind of like the second major city. The first one would be Ravenaster. And don't worry, we'll have uh, loads more cities. But so far, the only major cities that we know of, that we know about right now are Ravenaster and Bujerba. And... Uh, I've kind of half shown off both. I, I might like dedicate a video later just to like exploring and talking to the NPCs, uh, maybe to like the people who uh, want to, you know, I don't know, if they want to see it. Or you could actually just go watch my earlier episodes, even though the commentary sucks. Well, then again, my commentary still sucks, but at least it sucks less. Uh, and this is the Lucy Mines here. Come on, heart spin. Oh, we're right. the heart doesn't have to spin because we're here. Oh, and another thing. I noticed before I was playing in normal 4x3, so that's why the characters might have looked kind of stretched. Now I'm playing in uh, widescreen, so now everything should look normal. Uh, even though everything looks kind of skinny to me, it looks normal to you, and that's what counts, right? Right? I mean, yeah, that is what counts. Anyway, uh, the enemies here are really, really weak because this is kind of an, a past area, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Although I might, I'm gonna try and get maybe some other characters in. All right, uh, let's just kill these bats here. These bats. There's a lot. There's a lot of bats in this game. I mean, there's like maybe the biggest, my biggest complaint with FF12's gameplay is that the enemies are so reused. There's a palette swap of everything pretty much, and they did that with Final Fantasy 13 as well. And I, I guess maybe they're just getting lazy on the enemy designs or, or something, but. Man, I need water. Oh, and I have Tic Tacs! I have Tic Tacs. Uh, where are my Tic Tacs? I brought Tic Tacs just for this occasion. Not really, but I just happen to have them. And I can't find them now, and that makes me sad. But anyway, let's continue down this bridge area. And there's actually a place that I want to show you on the way that's a great spot to get money if you're really low on cash. Now, I am low on cash, but I don't really need money right now, because I'm actually doing perfectly fine. And, I mean, I might need money if I was trying to make this, like, a really good playthrough, but I'm just trying to, right now, play through the game. I mean, that's what this LP is. It's going to be a playthrough of the game, but I'm also doing pretty much all of the side quests. Like, at least all of the hunts. I'll definitely do uh, Yazmat, which is the final hunt, and he's got 50 million HP. Oh, yeah. Actually, like, you know how the boss bar and, like, most bosses, like, we've only had, like, two bosses so far and like since this LP was revived but um the boss bar and on the top well when you fight when you're fighting yes Knight, he has like that and like 10 other bars or they like roll over and over kind of like they do in Kingdom Hearts 2 how you just have bar after bar after bar and that's how it is because that's how long that fight is gonna be that video or that that one mark is probably gonna take three videos but it's gonna be an epic fight 
But that's not until the very end. And then I'm also gonna try and see if I can fit in trial mode. Okay, this area here... <coughs> this area here is, um, where you wanna go if you need money early on in the game. Because these skeleton guys will drop bone fragments. And bone fragments sell pretty good price this early on. Um, so, I mean, if you, if you wanna get good loot drops, or that's... You know what they're dropping. Oh, I see. I got another bone, another bone fragment there. You don't want to pick them up until your loot starts to level up, and uh, it's kind of hard to show you now. But like, uh, we will definitely encounter loot level ups in this LP tons and tons and tons of times. So I can show you then. Let's just kill these guys. I don't have that much time, so I shouldn't be spending that much time doing this. Ash is now level 23. All right, goodbye. I'm escaping. In the in the English version, it's actually called fleeing, but here it's escaping. Escape. Uh, so let's head over here. Eh, I'm probably gonna have to kill them because they're all teaming up on me now. Come on, kill them in super speed. Oh yeah, see, our loot leveled up because now they're dropping big, big blue loots, and blue loots are good. Now there's four different loot levels. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get another skeleton. Yeah, here. See, that's what loot looks like once you've leveled it up. And there's four different loot levels, and they get huger and huger each time. Um, so I'll show you as we encounter that. Come on, skeleton die. <coughs> um, okay, so anyway, here's Rock Toys. That's a tortoise. Not a turtle, that's a tortoise. And it, at this point, I'm killing him kind of late. Like, we could be killing him a lot earlier. But it does, it's really okay. He's not that hard. Oh, Pinello was blinded. Uh, that's okay, I'll just use... Um, eye drops. Eye drops will cure blind, so that's always nice. Uh, basically, what the blind status will do is it'll make it hard, harder for you to attack and you'll keep missing and all that. Um, anyway, how have you all been? Uh, I already talked about my weekend, although I didn't really talk about it in detail. Let's go to Yeah, I'm, the only reason why I'm going to play this in fast mode is because, um, really, it's just so repetitive. I mean, I, I for all bosses, I will never play in uh, super speed mode. Oh my god. Whoa, my netbook almost turned off there. Uh, for all bosses, I will never play in super speed mode, but for this, like, it's, like, important. Because we need to fit stuff in. Anyway, let's head over here now. We're kind of done. I will meet you back outside the mines, okay? Alright, I'm back. I thought I'd save you the trouble of, like, watching me go all the way back to Pilica here, so I'm, like, back. Let's see what, uh, she has to say. I thought it was a he, but it's actually, he, uh, she's actually a she. Anyway, thank you, Kubo. What a pal, Kubo. And look, my pet has learned his lesson and come home. What? Carbo! Thanks, thanks the nice young gentleman, Kubo. So, who, what was that we killed? Did it, or did it just shrink? I don't know. My pet, his name's Carbo. I know, Kubo, I know. It's not good to keep a pet in secret. I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm going to move someplace where we can both live in peace, Kubo. Here, accept this as a token of my thanks. And thank Mont Blanc for me, too. What are you going to give us? 1,200 gil, a high, two high potions, and a survival vest. Really kind of crappish, but eh, it's okay. Uh, I actually, I don't think... Can anyone wear that? No, it's not really good for anyone. So yeah, screw you, you suck. But if you talk to her again, thanks for all your help with Carbo, Kubo. Um, actually, there was one other matter I thought you might be able to help with. Want to ask a favor? Sure thing, why not? I want more rewards. You will, Kubo? Thanks, Kubo. What I need is, I forgot my diary on the second floor of Cleo's Technics. That's a store. And I want someone to go pick it up for me. I, uh, I actually work at Cleo's Technics, but I play hooky sometimes. Well, a lot, Kubo. Um, so, if I just was to show up, you understand. The second floor is only open to staff, so you'll, you'll want to wear this armband to get in. Thanks a bunch, Kubo. And we got the merchant's armband. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, so... <coughs> my throat's all dry for some reason today, I don't know. In the next part, we will be going and finishing this little mini side quest here with Pilika, and then we will, after that, go do the... Gib, uh, Gibbs and Duig side quest, and Gibbs and Duig is actually like the bigs and wedge of this game. Cause you know how, like, you know, from Star Wars, they put him in FF7, they put him in FF8, they put him in FF6, you know, all that. Um, so yeah, they put him in this game, it's, uh, Gibbs and Duig, or whatever, so I don't know. But yeah, we'll go do that. Uh, and then, uh, hopefully, I don't know, maybe in the next episode we'll be able to continue the story. Uh, I wanna get the Dran side quest out of the way too, though, because th that's a really fun one, that's a lot of fun. I love that one so much. So, um, yeah, if you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, just kind of stick along with this game. I know it's kind of complicated right now because you're all trying to catch up, but really just stick with it and it'll start flowing as you go on. You know, I trust you guys. I know you can do it. 
I can do it, but my throat is dying, so I'm gonna shut up now. So bye. You're awesome.